Всем привет! Добро пожаловать на следующую сессию Game Design Review. Сегодня у нас довольно необычная сессия. Дело в том, что это, по-моему, впервые на моей памяти, когда мы разбираем игру на английском языке в связи с тем, что разработчик не говорит по-русски. Поэтому заранее извиняюсь, дальнейшая сессия будет на английском языке. Ну, в меру его возможностей. Окей, okay, Юджин, up to you. Uh, well, so today's uh, agenda will be very simple. I will be playing the game and we will be talking about it a lot and we discuss uh, features and uh, the ways how to improve them. So, uh, uh, Nikki, uh, by the way, the, <laughs> the name of the game developer uh, of uh, School of Magic is Nicholas Creasy. Nicholas, you are welcome here. And uh, uh, if you hear something about features that are not implemented yet, you can say, oh, oh come on, guys, it's a demo, so it will be okay. And um, so let's start from the beginning. And the beginning will be actually uh, where the player starts uh, the introduction with the game and it's actually on the steam page and there um uh, so th there are defined the player expectations from the game and the tags are like uh, roguelike deck builder hack and slash and card game uh, but the name and logo screen reminds the about uh, something about harry potter like world magic sessions um, m magic lessons and uh, other kind of school stuff, you know. So, uh, and that uh, that's the way some kind of questions appear. So, um, there are pretty good screenshots and videos uh, and uh, if talking about screenshots uh, when I uh, when I look for another roguelike to play uh, I um, pay pretty much attention to screenshots the inventory panels something like or uh, pro uh, mm, uh, progression system uh, something about abilities and so on so I can have a quick proposition on how deep the role play m and progression mechanics of the game are but uh, uh, unfortunately there are none and uh, yeah it will be uh, a question uh, later but now we have uh, well privacy policy screen yeah something about data privacy it is always that matters okay so this is pretty much the beginning oh well we have um, we have no starting screen I mean, uh, oh, so I guess there is no proper introduction to the game, so we start like in the game. Yeah, you're starting right, right in the game. There is no start game button or load game or something like that, you know. You are just put in, into action. Well, actually, it is good for mobile titles, but for uh, PC, it's some. Um, Kind of strange, maybe. Well, it's so. So now we are having a dialogue, and here are some some small issues, you know. Uh, so, where is the phrase that I must say to the NPC? And what is NPC saying to me? You know, I've got used to the arrangement of these screens uh, when 
Uh, firstly, we see the phrase that NPC is talking to us, you know, somewhere here or somewhere above. And uh, uh, in the downside of the screen, we can see the, uh, the choices that we uh, have to make or the possible answers. And uh, here is uh, the, uh, the opposite arrangement and it's uh, it's sometimes I, I don't know it's a bit strange okay but here we have only one uh, possible answer let's push it and have another one possible answer here yeah. uh, by the way of course uh, this uh, dialogues uh, are better when uh, they uh, spelled really by people no the sound like voice over yeah voice over yeah uh, well, my guess is the, that was a budget constraints Nicholas. Yeah. yeah so uh, okay I, I wasn't sure if i should talk or not so um yeah um, Feel free. i can maybe also say something about the uh, start screen so I just had a discussion today about a start screen. I'm not sure if I want to have one. I probably will in the end, um, but this was mostly due, due, to, due to time constraints why I skipped over it because I felt like an option screen for the beginning is enough. But um, you're right, usually games start off with a, um, with a start screen, but some don't and I figured it might be fine for me, but I'm still, I still haven't decided yet. Um, about the uh, um, yeah, voiceover. I'm, so I'm working on this alone and um, in part time. So I don't. Uh, I currently don't plan to do voiceovers um, just because of budget constraints. Okay. And uh, um, and the texts, how they are um, ordered. Um, I actually um, thought I looked at games like Witcher and they do it similarly, but I'm not sure. Maybe I, I'm wrong. Um, but I. We, I still I didn't quite understand where would you want to have the text that the person says like a speech bubble over them or uh, where, somewhere where should the text be? Uh, somewhere above you see when when uh, uh, when when people read something they go straight from up till down you know so uh, at first I want to see what uh, the NPC tells to me and. Uh, and here, I, at first, I uh, have to read these possible um, choices of the dialogue, and then uh, I I read what NPC is talking. So, okay, th that's why. Yeah, I, but, I uh, by the way, um, talking, uh, you've mentioned Witcher, and it's cool. Uh, the Witcher has a um, grand, uh, great storyline uh, based on based on great IP, and uh, well, it has a great uh, narrative. So, uh, but here we are just put into some uh, choices, uh, not not obvious to to a player. Uh, there is nothing about the world we are in right now. There is no information about the character of the player. Even the player can't uh, choose anything about the character. You know, no race, no uh, just class, appearance, and so on. The, for example, what what can I do if I don't like the green color of the head <laughs> so uh my question is uh would you but but yeah uh, but i see uh, that uh, the name is school of magic and uh my uh, he, uh my character is here to pass some exam though he is also dressed like a wizard he has uh, his great head uh so He's rather old, I, I think. Why does he have to pass some exam? So, uh, okay. will you have some storyline behind this, uh, or it will be like this? So, uh, 
first of all, there might be a little bit differences um, later on in the story, but the basic idea will probably stay similar. So um, right now the character also doesn't know what's happening. If you read the text, like the idea is that he just woke up and um, doesn't know where he is and what's going on. And uh, um, the teacher, let's say it like this, um, will um, th he's just putting him into his first exam without answering a lot of questions. And the more, o so the idea is that the story will unfold. The more often you get back to the hub area. So if you if you die, you will get more dialogue options. You can always only choose one, okay. and then you can find out more about the world after each run, basically. So you will slowly but surely you will get the story, um, but it will unfold slowly. And at the beginning, it's supposed to be confusing. Oh, so it's like, uh, it's like, like in Hades, yeah. You, you have uh, seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have seven. I, I actually right? didn't play Hades. I didn't play Hades as much, so I can't really tell you about it. But I, I heard similar things here. Yeah. But um, they, yeah, they have like all, everything voiced and stuff. So they, um, but yeah. But the idea is that after each run, you will unfold more story. The area will also grow. Um, you will unlock more parts here in this. Um, in this hub area and stuff and yeah that's the idea but at the beginning you're supposed to be confused but, uh, and about the character uh -huh. I, I would say I, you would probably not be able to change your character um, I, I have something in mind but um, I would say it's not um, there's not so you won't be able to change your character it will be a fixed character basically um, mm -hmm. yeah okay so I suggest uh, we are we are in some dream then yeah <laughs> maybe okay yeah, yeah so, so yeah yeah you basically like you can imagine it like a um, like a, um, I, I'm calling it a magical virtual reality world basically that's what I'm calling it internally the idea is that that they put you there and this entire university and stuff is all not in the real world it's in a it's in a magical dimension basically and. That's, it's also not yet finished building, that's why it's looking so weird and it will... I, I, th I don't know if you will die, but if you will die we will see that it will unlock more and you will see that the... Um, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, we, we will die, why not? <laughs> it's it's, <a laughs> yeah, so, I, I it's always... Know. We will see if you will die, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. And, and right now you uh, make the player to to make some really choice that will matter the future game, yeah? Yeah, so the, the idea here is, um, this is similar to uh, class selection, basically. So um, I, I have to go a little bit into the future now, because um, it will be, um, otherwise it will be too, um, I can't explain what's happening now. <laughs> so the idea is that he, you will just make a choice based on on your feelings, right? Mm -hmm. So not not on actual knowledge because you don't have any yet. And okay. similar to how you would select like a rogue or a wizard in a Diablo game where you never have played it. You don't really know, don't see any, you don't have nothing to, to go on if you actually like it other than that you like chaos or nature or whatever. And But um, the longer you play, you basically will be able to play as all of them. So... Um, game doesn't have strict classes it has like this card system and um, this is just the starting cards you select basically but over time you will unlock all the cards um, anyway so um, but it's not that far developed right now so um, you will see the card unlocking and the metagame progression but there won't be these different classes are not available yet in the demo okay okay so we dive in the game Oh, well, uh, you, you know, uh, at least uh, there is one. Uh, oh, God, yeah. Uh, one thing about uh, the class system, yeah, because uh, some players really want to uh, 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 to deal with, with their problems by strength and sword. <laughs> and without yeah. these cla class systems, you just uh, have to uh, lose a part of audience, you know. So, yeah. but, card overview, it's cool, it's great. Uh, 
pretty much understandable. Mana cost, cooldown, teleportation, card level. Okay, card level how can be achieved for now it's not obvious, but it's okay. Uh, teleports you to any place with a screen. Uh, you know, this some kind of immersion, bre immersion breaker. Uh, it is, uh, I think it is better to, mm, to spell it something like it teleports you to some uh, visible area, maybe. But we, yeah, I understand what, what you're saying. Yeah, that's a good idea. You're yeah, right, because it, I'm, I'm yeah. talking about the screen and not in the in game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and one more uh, point about this uh, card overview that uh, you in your game have uh, cards with passive abilities, and uh, they have different signs here and here. And at first, when I was playing, I uh, I was wondering what does it matter. <laughs> so maybe it is possible to uh, uh, to explore this also on this screen. So with some other card and uh, some other explanation marks. Yeah. 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 yeah I understand what you're saying. I, I don't know how to do it yet, but it's a good point. I probably <laughs> need to explain it as well. Okay, and now, um, so, we are put in some dungeon and now we again have to make a decision. We, we, we made some uh, random decision about the School of Magic and now we, are, we have to again decide what we, oh, what, I, uh, what kind of... Uh, marked spells we have to learn okay what i really like is uh, this explanation that appears uh, about what happens to the spell when it levels up yeah it's really cool and and understandable but uh well okay i'll talk about status effects later so we again have something to choose. Let's choose this. Uh huh. This will be some spell back. Close menu. So why don't you highlight this six button? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are in the game. Wow. You know uh, w what I like is yeah, he's moving so. Slightly. Mm. What I like is lighting. Oh, here comes some four again. Uh, and uh, effects are very cool. Mm. But lighting is only a, uh, only on uh, level, but because. Oh, sorry. Just uh, to finish, uh, uh, because as I as I saw, uh, all effects um, that are connected with abilities, uh, some kind of fireballs and so on, they have no lighting effects on the level, no shadows, uh, no no lights, no reflections, and so on. Uh, I think they have. Um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the poison has less than the fireball. I'm not sure. I, I would need to check. They have all lights on them, like the poison and the um, and also the fireball. Okay, spell. okay. I, we, we will uh, return to this later. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tutorial again. Thank you. The main spell is the Gilman. Again and then. Okay. Thank you. Everything is explained. Thank you. So, uh, we have new cards with abilities, and some of them will. Ah, and one will be deleted. Okay, so we have two, 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 two. Gain extra points, increase damage. Increase damage is always. Oh, but. 
here again this is um, so there are several types of uh, passive abilities here I I see now that there is a uh, mm, yeah, yeah. The, the icon you can't select it I'm sorry yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't like hover over it it will always go down but uh, what does it mean? So they, they are of different schools of magic, yeah? Or so um, the, I, I can explain what these um, icons mean. Yeah. So this icon is just a um, flat passive ability. The, the in the blue, like where the basically where the mana cost would be, there um, is an icon either with a like this. I don't know how to explain this, um, but this basically just means it's a um, it's a flat passive um, ability. And the uh, icon below means no cool cooldown. And actually, this one should also have this. The, the zero should be there at the one to the right. Uh, the wait, two to the left now. Okay. And then there is this <laughs> other icon here. Exactly. This is a tri triggered ability, or I don't know how to else to call it, because this happens always when you level up, or always when whatever uh, enemy takes damage, or always when whatever. Oh. You will be able to read everything from the card, basically. You will, I think it will be clear. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about this menu? Yeah, I like the statistics. The, um, um, they are really useful in such kind of games. Uh, but not uh, not only in, uh, in session statistics, but uh, overall the statistics the statistics of all the runs for the game you know which was the most uh, uh, favorable the most successful and the less successful uh, where more enemies were beaten and so on okay it's a good idea i i don't have um a safe system or anything like it yet, so I can't um, have stati statistics there, but I, yeah, it's a good I'm, idea to add um, to the game. Safe system be, would be very useful because we had some <laughs> pr problems when we needed to uh, start the game from the very beginning, uh, We, uh, but we found where uh, the, the yeah. saves are uh, stored. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, sorry, uh, yeah, as I said, <laughs> I just didn't get to it yet. It's, um, but it's on the list pretty high up. Um, one of the next features will be the safe system. That, be that's great. So, this is a information about potions. Okay. We will have potions on tap. By the way, uh, what is uh, good and mm, what players like in roguelikes is looting, you know? Uh, when something drops from uh, a monster, something that is lightened by green light or or even blue light or red, and you know that there is some uh, special item that you will be loo looting, and oh, and this uh, this is what happens when you uh, have this uh, uh, level up sign connected uh, strictly to the character uh, in action RPG games. So I, I was in action and I accidentally uh, uh, clicked on the level up button and I'm here to level up, though there are enemies around and I'm frightened. So, mm, poison cloud. No, I, I, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about this. To be honest, I'm aware of that problem, but I also wanted people to be able to do it during combat. So I'm on. I'm not sure how to solve it because that's why I have it over the player, so it's close to where your mouse is. Because okay. then you can actually do it during combat as well if you want to. But then you get the problem that when it ha it can happen accidentally during combat. So I'm not sure. Um, Maybe yeah. I have to strictly bind it to a key during combat, I'm not sure. But yeah, that would also need to be explained. Uh, well, you see... Uh, um, you 
definitely don't want to interrupt the combat while you are emerged in it. So I was fighting enemies and I accidentally pushed that button and I'm here just uh, and everything stopped. And I mm, uh, must uh, make another decision on uh, what what other spell to select and then again return to the battle. I don't know. I think it's uh, better to use the Diablo um, method, you know, when so there is a, a level up button somewhere here and you will um, I can uh, put it in a, in a more straight way probably. So when, when there is an action and uh, if you stop it the, all of a sudden, uh, the player just might not be ready, especially he might not be ready uh, to resume the game. Uh, so it's, it's, it's less controlled environment uh, rather than uh, when you have this like uh, this arrow right on, on this on the, on the cards button when, whenever there is another option it becomes available. So yeah in the middle of the battle it's just really not suitable for players to, to manage these kind of things. So my, my suggestion is that you don't uh, stop the game. Uh, in the middle, and just let player to decide where, whether he's ready or not uh, to, you know, improve himself or his cards, stuff like that. Oh, so, um, wait, I, mm -hmm. I just want to understand them. Um, so, um, you think that I should stop the player at all, so you, he's not allowed to do it during combat? Or, um, or, or you wanted to move down to the the menu basically to the spellbound. No, uh, what I want to say is that uh, these things like management of the cards or uh, abilities or whatever uh, should be done in a safer environment uh, rather than this in the middle of action. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So you're saying during combat you wouldn't allow the... Yeah, yeah, it, it would confuse player. Like, okay, I was just fighting and I was making this fast decision, but all of a sudden there's a different screen. I have to make some other choices. And yeah, uh, they, they don't know what's going on uh, behind this screen. Maybe there is a battle still raging on, and I, I they must yeah. decide right now to continue the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. My idea was that um, they might want to to level up to get like there are also spells that might give you life, for example, max life, and so you could use them like as a tactic during during battle. But yeah, I see I see your point. Maybe that's a better solution. And uh, I still would keep the UI near the player because actually you can see it here perfectly. Um, I will say it in a second. But, uh, um, because the problem is, see, even the yeah, the, I don't know how long the the arrow points to the map <laughs> already because <laughs> this is at the very beginning. But but it's still there and people didn't notice. I, at first I had it only down there, to be honest, similar to Diablo, but mm -hmm. people didn't notice it at all. Like they. They finished the combat and would continue, myself included, and didn't notice that they actually got a level up. And um, that's why I put it directly over the player, because they would, um, they tended to miss it. I yeah. think that eventually they will figure out there's something going on, like with this arrow constantly flashing on yeah. the screen. Yeah, yeah, but with the arrow, for sure. But I, I, with the level up, I didn't have it like this big, like it was just a small thing that would blink or something like that. And then I decided to put it over the player, but I can see maybe doing it after the... Um, yeah, like, uh, not, just make, not, make, make, it, make it not clickable during combat, basically, I think that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so Don't distract the player. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, talking about the map, uh, well, it, it looks really good, and I even, even remember the time when this cross was red, yeah? Once, no? Uh, the mark of the player, but anyway, yeah. the the green the green one is better. Yeah, uh, but um, you know, uh, talking about the map, uh, you have uh, randomly generated levels. Yeah, in in this yes. game. Yes. So uh, 
Uh, as for the games with randomly generated levels, it is better, really, really better. Oh my god, guys. Uh, it is really better uh, to have some uh, less detailed map and uh, maybe even a transparent map uh, on the game screen here. So you uh, like uh, like in Diablo or in Torchlight, uh, when the tab is hit, there is a transparent map that you where you can see the moving character and it, it is really uh, useful for for the player and uh, oh, i added the minimap shortly i don't know if you already saw it but uh, yeah. there's now a minimap i'm not sure because that's basically what i thought would be fine and with that i'm yeah yeah I, minimap is fine i, re I remember that uh, it, it 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 is added not long ago yes uh but uh, transparent map will, be, map will be also useful and besides uh, I think the less detailed ma map will, will be better uh, because in uh, this kind of map I've uh, uh, several times I was searching for the path and I couldn't find the way uh, because you know there was something like uh, something like this uh, or something so there, there was the corner uh, of the map but after the corner there uh, there were also some details and they told me that uh, there is some there is some way here that I should explore but but uh, actually there were there was nothing okay I understand yeah so yeah, that's bad yeah yeah and uh, I've I've paid my time to go there and find nothing so uh, and uh, talking about map yeah and mm -hmm. let's level up again yeah pretty good thank you Ah, one thing about level up. So, uh, uh, thanks to this tutorial notice, we uh, have had a time to see. Uh, so we now we had some uh, s two level ups here at the same yes. time. Uh, but uh, one of the skills. Over the previous previous level up, deleted and uh, we, but uh, it's really not uh, fair because we could have chosen it. For example, uh, I mean uh, that I think that level ups uh, should be held one by one. Uh, so one level up uh, you yeah. see the new spells you choose what you want then after you have chosen there there would uh, there should be carried another level up because when they uh, happen simultaneously you uh, you lose your chance to select the spell you want it can be deleted I understand the idea behind that was that you can actually wait because now also not only did you lose a spell but all spells are now a level higher so you can actually save level ups in the game as a tactic yeah but have higher level spells but then you need to um, but then you don't level basically you, you need to wait before you pick the spell so that was the was the idea behind that and usually you will be because once again right now you can level in combat like I'm agreeing when, when I change that and I have that problem but when you can level in combat you can uh, level in between um, in between that as well but if I change that I might have also to think about making it one by one I'm not yeah I'm not sure but I understand what you're saying here that's that's a valid concern okay 
So, and uh, as I've noticed... So you can still take one spell, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, yeah. here we have one spell to take, okay. Yeah, just so you know, you know yeah. I, I just don't, don't, don't... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. If you, you, if you don't need it, it's also fine. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe this is, this will be useful. Less damage is always useful, yeah. So, That's true. Uh, okay, talking about the monsters and what, how am I pl playing, you see? What I do? Yeah, is, I saw it already. Yeah. Is uh, I don't. oh, why, 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 why did I miss them? You missed them? Yeah, the the fireball just uh, flew straight through them and. Oh, they, but that's that's the it's they it flies through them, but it didn't it hit them? I, yeah. I didn't see. I didn't check. Sorry, I I didn't uh, miss them. You, you should have hit them if like if it flew through them. Yeah, but uh, um, you know that maybe uh, some spells really hit uh, enemies, but as I see, the uh, the enemies uh, have no reaction uh, among yeah. uh, ju just they lose uh, the HP and nothing more. So, but they don't stop, they don't uh, stun yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and all, all I have to do is to run and run from monsters and hit them. Yeah. I don't some... like that you can run that much. I, I don't want you to, to, to be able to do it. That's a problem I have that I still haven't completely figured out, to be honest. Uh, I'm okay. making you slower when you get a hit. But I'm obviously seeing it's not good enough right now, um, because you can still run from them. So the idea is that you can't run. That's um, that's what I want. Oh, I don't really? want you to um, dodge this to to basically um, kite. That's what it's called, right? Kiting the enemy. Yeah, it's kiting. Oh, yeah, and now I think you, I will yeah, die soon. <laughs> now you have a yeah. Now you die probably. So let me die. Let me die. Let me die. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so my idea is about uh, adding some monsters of uh, different kinds that uh, will control the areas. You know, uh, monsters that throw mines, monsters that throw bombs, so uh, they can... Uh, so uh, to make uh, the character to run not only from monsters, but sometimes uh, to monsters when there, there's... There, there are always uh, there are mines anywhere, and y you ha you have no other choice. So there are some of these. Um, so the more you play, the more monsters also unlock. Um, there are monsters that um, later on there's like a necromancer that spawns um, that spawns skeletons. So it's not good to run from him because you will just spawn more skeletons over time. And then there's also one that will stun you. And about the knockback, I thought about it, but it made players run even more. But there's a spell that will actually let you do that. Um, uh, well, to, then... Uh, to, to have knockback on all the projectile spells, basically. Uh, you know, uh, what? Um, uh, if talking about monsters' behavior, uh, the patterns of monsters' behavior, it is a, a really um, a big topic. Uh, that I uh, wanted to discuss. Uh, for example, uh, have you played any of Zelda games? Dark Souls. Zelda, uh, no. the, the the company uh, that uh, I don't. Th wait, let me check. I'm not sure. That made so uh, Dean's Curse, Zombicide, uh, Drug Separative. Oh really? So dark. Yeah. Oh. Ah, there it is. I, okay. I, I just found them. So. So uh, the. So I, I don't think I have played the games. Uh, the idea of um, the world there is that it lives on its own laws, on its own ma manner, and uh, it doesn't care about the player really. So, 
for example uh, uh, the the mobs uh, the the monsters they make treaties some of them uh, are friendly to each other some of them uh, hunt uh, together some of them fight each other on site and so on so uh, and uh, it is always some kind of uh, I don't know another uh, feeling of environment of the world you are dive in that it lives on its own manner yes uh, so I advise you to play uh, so some of the these games and uh, maybe you will have some insights uh, I understand yeah so I understand what you're saying and I can actually tell you that um, I thought about like because right now what you're basically saying is when you come the, the enemies will always run towards you and there's nothing like there they are not standing around uh, um, fire talking stuff like that that's mostly due to budget constraints to be honest like it's just easier you need way less animations it's way less complicated like this um, to have them um, run at you that's um, yeah I, I don't know it's, it is obviously better I'm not I'm not saying it, it like it makes the world feel more logical and more alive but um, yeah so the idea of this game is more about uh, um, mechanics and less a like it's also about obviously about the world and everything but the basic idea is that you are more about mechanics and um, things and less about um, you see there's by the way the light see yeah. the fire you can see it better than the I think than the um, yeah than the poison fire is definitely better and I yeah. see the lighting but for example fireball doesn't have the lighting and if okay I yeah, maybe, maybe I forgot. That might be right. I, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we, we we've talked about talked about looting. We've talked about lighting. Yeah. Let's talk about um, status effects. So uh, as far as I saw, there are two status effects, and one is about burning, and another one is about uh, poison. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, burning is shown pretty cool. The enemy simply burns. Mm -hmm. uh, but the poison is just some icon that uh, will appear above the enemy. So uh, uh, maybe it is possible to show status effects uh, a, a bit more similarly you know so yeah. you, you can uh, show poison like uh, some uh, green effect uh, on enemy and uh, yeah. by the way talking talking about poison uh, here in the game poison is just about uh, weakening the attack of the enemy yeah yes and uh, in most other games, it is also about damage over time. Usually is yeah. I think it would. It's only damage over time usually, and not point of weakening damage. Enemies. Yeah. Like I can tell you why I did it. I mean that's a uh, that's just um, so I didn't want to have two damage over time effects because burning is also damage over time, and I wanted to have a differentiator between the abilities, and so the poison. Is basically what we would call like a more warrior like where you get like stronger the entire nature tree makes you stronger you can heal enemies deal less damage and you're basically a tank mm -hmm. and uh, a fire build is more as a more aggressive build so that's but that's just a decision I was aware that I break player expectation there mm -hmm. but I just I, I just did I, I decided it's worth it in this case um, okay. yeah but I understand that it's um, not will not be um, obvious to most players that poison will do that yeah well so let's level up so we had several levels and again we are losing losing spells losing spells and getting a lot of levels now you have 
way stronger spells. <laughs> like the first one you take can have not level five or something. I don't know. Okay. So why do I have to this info panel right now? Why? What? Like, why it is so matters? I, I can tell you what now. Um, it is actually not perfect because you have multiple levels. It's actually a draw victim multiple levels. But the card you see to the left here, actually, that, but that's, I guess, just um, um, luck randomness. Um, so you got one card that tells you um, that where you need to cho chose a, uh, where you need to choose a school of magic. And you know, because before it was not really relevant to you. And mm -hmm. I just show the tutorial tips as soon as you need to know the information. And right now you got a card that it's actually the 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 on the bottom the the one that is xed out. The, that's why I said it's not good for for now because you actually lost the card already because you have multiple level ups. But um, yeah, so and this is the same. So mm -hmm. you just took a spell that reduced your um, cool cooldown down. to a certain threshold, and then I tell you by the way, if you start taking more, you need to take care that your spells don't get too low in time because then you will have no benefit this is not perfect because sometimes you will already jump below this but that's that was the compromise i didn't want to overwhelm the player with all these rules at the beginning so i wanted them to be spread out and so as soon as you need to know some information i will give it to you at that point and not earlier basically that's the idea behind these tips that come up um, over time as um, the longer you play okay yeah it's cool, it's good. But why exactly 0 0.7? Whoa. I can tell you why, because it's, it has to do with animations and ah. how I set the cooldown for the how I set the cooldown for the things, but it, like, it's not obvious to the player, but it's just uh, like there there was an animation cancelling weirdness if you do it too fast and stuff like that. But um, Okay, okay, that, so yeah. there, there, there is no minigun in the game. <laughs> or something There's like no that. What? minigun or something like that no 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 yeah I mean um, yeah so there might be like later on there might be a spell that spawns like you can also spawn more projectiles at once and stuff like that and like this is just about how you cast the spell not about like you, you might have a spell that casts three projectiles in short so, so order or something like that so it, it is possible but it's not um, yeah not with them right now so the idea is that um you can't go below certain sh thresholds. There's like also like th there will be a there's a tutorial tip if you get too much armor, too much damage reduction, basically. Mm -hmm. So if you get like I don't know, I, I don't even remember what the maximum damage damage reduction is, but at some point it will tell you. Oh, by the way, if you continue to pick more damage reduction, you need to take care because it won't affect okay. things anymore. Yeah. Well, this is this is really good and useful. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> so, uh, what I was uh, going to ask about is, uh, so uh, you lose some uh, some spells, you choose others, and after you have chosen the spell, you can't uh, level up or sell it here. Yeah? Yeah, so this might change later on. So the idea is that the, the Knowledge School of Magic, um, which is blue, where you currently don't have any cards, I think you still need to buy them, um, they will have cards that will also level uh, um, level up the um, spells that you already have. But right now the idea is because it's... Um, the idea of the leveling system is it's a little bit of a... Um, what is this called? Um, a risk-reward thing, right? Um Mm -hmm. If you like, you you sold now a bunch of spells, and the less spells you have, the more likely it is that the a spell you want is actually um, removed. So there's the risk, and um, if you um, if you um, now I'm uh, uh, the mm -hmm. same is um, for leveling up. So if you wait longer, the spells will be stronger, but it's also more likely that the spell gets removed because multiple spells will be removed. So you always need to think about. Do I want to pick a spell that is really good early, or do I want to wait a little bit, have a higher level, and so that's the basic idea behind mm -hmm. the system, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
in the console. Well, in... Uh, my guess is that we are near the conclusion because our time runs out. So you should have uh, any more uh, findings. Please present them now so we can uh, finish. Okay, so we have to go to the conclusion. Let me just uh, find uh, this uh, you know, big monster, I call him mini boss with some rune under under it that uh, retaliates the damage. Because uh, I had some problems when... Uh, oh, here, here, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what, I, what I've seen? Uh, I don't know what does this rune mean, really. I don't know wh what is he, what will he do with me when when we, we he he will finally hit me. Uh, but when I hit him, ah, okay, so something is hitting me all the time. You know, when I uh, first uh, hit him and. Uh, uh, put the status on him. I I was uh, running here and there looking for some uh, uh, ranger guy that I missed somewhere upwards that mm -hmm. that is firing firing into me. <laughs> so okay, yeah. Uh, uh, what I advise to do is to make this rune. Um, uh, a bit understandable, you know, uh, like uh, monsters in the second Diablo with the um, same ability to uh, redirect the damage to the player, they had uh, a circle with the spikes around them. And it is really more understandable that they are you know, sp some spi spiky. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good idea. And that they retaliate your mm, damage in you. So, uh, let us uh, summarize. Summarize that. Uh, what I like about the game is the y this USP about cards like abilities uh, progression. It's really awesome. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this in other roguelike games, and I. Uh, hope you you will continue the work on this game uh, because I really want to play the uh, full version thanks a lot yeah and uh, uh, what, what what is also really good is uh, the big amount of abilities uh, so you really have to choose you really have to think to read the cards uh, and th th this is also uh, cool that even in uh, the demo there is pre pretty much uh, content on abilities and uh, I really like uh, visual effects here so I like uh, this uh, fire lightning they're, they're really cool uh, okay. what uh, what could be done better uh, I have a few points, but uh, you, of course, you you will uh, you will think and can see yourself what will you implement or or not. So, uh, as for roguelikes, I I prefer uh, games with understandable inventory and equipment system because uh, it is. Uh, always a pleasure to find you new rare equipment you know that you can put on your character to make it to make him stronger groovier looking and so on uh, and i think it will be useful to make uh, the drops from the mobs more uh, more understandable because right now there, there is uh, some uh, visual effect that uh, is uh, mm, flies to the player, uh, and uh, you have uh, 
no option on what's inside in it. You just see that you have a bit more gold or and uh, only once when you are finding card you know that you you realize that this card was from this draw so uh, what uh, i advise you to do here is to make some uh, pickup log somewhere here maybe or here so uh, that will show the exact amount of uh, gold picked up for example or maybe oh, we have ah it. okay uh, so it would be really uh, useful for the player uh, what else mm, so yeah different uh, patterns of monsters behavior I think the uh, uh, there there are many patterns that could uh, could perform in this game really cool I advise you to play well okay so uh, uh, almost any roguelikes but for example uh, some games that are not uh, too popular is uh, Dragon Path the, and uh, their bosses there are really really cool and they uh, make the player to change his pattern of behavior with the monster so you know you can just uh, run around him and shoot or you can just uh, go straight forward and uh, uh, break him his nose you have to deal with his abilities which are uh, different from boss to boss okay um, I would also um, uh, advise you some kind of character crea creating system maybe by well, well I, I i see that you have uh, um, you have your thoughts and they, they, they are they are clear but uh, well i don't know maybe uh the choice of race class and appearance it is uh, really something that uh, connects the player and the character and by the by the way the naming of the character also so um, yeah uh, another point narrative and story um, I think uh, it uh, it will be it will it is possible uh, uh, to have a good pretty good story here and uh, well yeah and statistics so mm, maybe leaderboards maybe statistics of runs uh, they are also really uh, popular among the players and such kind of uh, games so this is my summary. Thanks Hi. a lot for the for the insights. Thank you. Thank you, Eugen. Uh, thank you, Nicholas, for bringing this game for Eugen to explore. Uh, we're definitely out of time, but uh, I think we have several minutes to see if there are questions in the chat, so you can answer them. Thanks again, дорогие зрители. Давайте ваши вопросы, которые у вас еще остались, и Николас сейчас э, ответит на них. Спасибо. Спасибо.